The Welling Canal connecting Lakes Erie and Ontario was completed in 1829. Sometime afterward, sea lamprey, a marine jawless fish, invaded the upper Great Lakes. By 1950, overharvesting, coupled with sea lamprey predation, had decimated the Great Lakes fisheries. In 1958, TFM, a lampricide or chemical toxic to lampreys, was first applied to tributary streams in an attempt to control its numbers, thereby reducing predation upon fishes. TFM remains the primary tool in the war against sea lamprey today, 50 years later. The mud puppy is the second largest salamander in Ohio. It is totally aquatic and lives in larger streams in some lakes, including Lake Erie. It and a few other species are sensitive to TFM, and consequently, they suffer from high, non-targeted mortality during lampricide applications. The largest mud puppy recorded from Ohio waters has a total length of 410 millimeters and died in the 1999 treatment of the Grand River. Study of mud puppy population dynamics and stream ecology in the Grand River by the Museum's Department of Vertebrate Zoology began in 1987 and continues today. Examples of preserved mud puppies and sea lamprey are in the display cases in the exhibit. The oral disc of the sea lamprey allows the predator to attach to the side of a prey species of fish. The teeth stabilize its position on the fish while strong muscles of the disc create a negative pressure or suction. The mouth in the center of the disc also has teeth which rasp a hole in the prey. Suction allows the lamprey to feed upon tissue fluids of the fish. Mud puppies in northeastern Ohio occupy streams like Conneaut Creek, that are large enough to provide required resources, such as refuges and oviposition sites. The large chagrin shale siltstone slabs, like those in the foreground of the photograph, are used extensively for refuge and nesting. Stream sections with silts and accumulated organic leaf litter and detrius are used by small mud puppies. Note the yellow or yellow-greenish color of the water. The tint is due to TFM lampricide. The female mud puppy turns upside down in her nest chamber beneath a rock slab to attach her complement of eggs, one at a time, to the roof of this nesting cavity. Larval mud puppies are brightly striped rather than dark and spotted like juveniles and adults. They may live over 30 years. During the spring, small mud puppies can be seined or dip netted in silted areas with organic matter. Adults can be trapped through the ice of winter. The other productive method on capturing them spring through fall is by turning slabs. Larger slabs are preferred. Therefore, the process is difficult and labor-intensive, requiring teams of two to four people to turn slabs and hold the net. Captured animals are measured, numbered, the sex determined, and released at the point of capture. Repeated capture of marked, numbered individuals allows us to plot the, and calculate the distances moved over time, to examine growth rates and reproductive condition, and to calculate an estimate of population size and compare those estimates over time. Comparisons of population size between years allows us to look at the stability of the population. Beginning in 2008, mud puppies over 200 millimeters in length will be permanently tagged with a PIT tag a microchip implanted in the tail musculature similar to that implanted in your pet. Collected mud puppies and those salvaged during TFM applications provide the opportunity to examine the reproductive condition over time. In photograph 9, an adult female was dissected to evaluate her reproductive condition. Each yellowish pea-shaped object is a developing ova. In the successive photo, the ova are being measured. Although preliminary at this time, the data accumulated indicates that some females reproduce biennially, whereas others reproduce annually. The graph indicates that except for 2001, the number of mud puppies captured in traps at the Harpers Field Dam on the Grand River in Ashtabula County has decreased since the mid-1980s. This is one source of evidence indicating that the population size has decreased. Other data collected during our studies indicate that the average body size of mud puppies has declined since the mid-1980s when TFM applications began. Decreasing population size coupled with decreasing adult size 
and reduce ova production suggest population instability.